The next time you're driving through downtown Billings, you might notice it's a little bit more scenic thanks to a local artist and school teacher who spent her summer off following her dreams. This is one of the greatest things that's happened to me for sure. It means the world to me. Three years ago, if you would have met Riley, you would have found her in a cubicle right across the street from where she is now in the Wells Fargo building, working in the payroll industry while going to MSU Billings to become a teacher. There was a lot of coming and going and studying late nights till two in the morning. No matter how big the task seems or how difficult it is, uh, do it anyway. And um, you might be surprised at what you can do. A message heard loud and clear with every single brush stroke on this gigantic canvas as her students watch. I know that someday I'm going to be as good as my mom, so I was just thinking that I want to do that. I was thinking of being a vet, but I also want to be an artist too. Yeah. What do you think it takes to be as good as your mom? A lot of practice. A lot of practice, a lot of paint, and 10 full work days for this project. But seven-year-old Aislinn doesn't mind heading downtown with mom each day. I really like it. I love that she can show out her talent. Talent that's going down in Montana history, all because Riley took a chance and answered the grand building's call for artists. But when we saw her kind of presentation of what she thought it should be, we just instantly knew that that was the one that we wanted on this building. and. Obviously, you can tell it couldn't have been more perfect. So the idea when I submitted it was to show my own artwork um, in it, as well as um, the history of the building and of Montana. The building has been around since the 1800s. Um, it used to be the General Custer Hotel. The Buffalo just ties in Montana as a whole. You know, we're kind of the gateway to tourism to Yellowstone Park from this end of the state. And now downtown Billings has 15 murals with three more on the way. According to the Downtown Billings Alliance, they say the idea is to showcase artists, create gathering spaces and deter undesired activities by cleaning up otherwise dark and unclean alleys and spaces. And it's be something that stays here for the next 50 years and just another reason to get people down here and just take pride in our city and downtown. In Billings, Diane Parker, MTN News.